Melon Diversity Introduction The genus Cucumis comprises of about 30 species distributed over two distinct geographical areas. The Southeast Himalayas of the Asiatic region with a basic chromosome number X equal to 7 and the Africa group where the basic chromosome number of the species X equal to 12 with the occurrence of few tetraploids and hexaploids. Knowing the closest relatives and natural composition of the genus Cucumis is important for the ongoing efforts to improve Cucumis mellow and Cucumis sativus with traits from the wild relatives. Cucumis sativus is the only species in the genus with the chromosomal number n equal to 7, which is thought to have evolved from a presumed ancestral karyotype with n equal to 12, but the details of the reduction in chromosomal number are unclear. Thus, the genus Cucumis holds great interest as a system in which to study the evolution of the organellar and nuclear genomes and there are several ongoing efforts to map the genomes of Cucumis mellow and Cucumis sativus. Cucumber has got high moisture and vitamin C content and they are mainly used as salad crops which have a very limited nutritive value but rich in antioxidants. The cucurbits are characterized by bitter principles called cucurbitaceans. The musk melon on the other hand has high iron content compared to cucumber which is rich in vitamin C. So far, the DNA markers were employed to determine the extent of genetic diversity in Cucumis sativus and Mello. Thus, the DNA marker-based fingerprinting can distinguish species rapidly and can deduce the reliable information on their phylogenetic relationships. Materials and Methods Thirteen accessions of Cucumis species were collected from different parts of India. They are Kanivellari from Kerala, Sangakiri local, Perundurai local, Sembati local, Yedapadi local, Karur local from Tamil Nadu, Rupamalli and Orissa local from Orissa, Andaman local from Andaman, Long Green from Maharashtra, N78 from New Delhi, AAUC2 from Uttar Pradesh and Long Melon from Haryana. The leaves are ground to powder using liquid nitrogen in microfuge tubes and then the genomic DNA were isolated using modified CTAB method. Fifteen ISSR primers were used for PCR analysis to detect polymorphism among the cucumis species. These are the UBC primers from University of British Columbia. The PCR analysis is carried out in 15 microliter volume, 2.5 millimolar primer, 10 millimolar DNTPs, 1.5 ml of 10x assay buffer. 0.2 ml of TAC polymerase and 8.1 ml of sterile distilled water. The amplification is carried out in thermocycler where the initial denaturation is programmed for 5 minutes at 94 degrees C, denaturation for 1 minute at 94 degrees C, annealing for 2 minutes at 50 degrees C, extension for 2 minutes at 72 degrees C and final extension for 5 minutes at 72 degrees C carried out up to 40 cycles. Then the amplified products were separated by electrophoresis on 1.2% agarose gel. And then they are visualized by staining with ethidium bromide 
and then document it. The statistical analysis was finally carried out using Entesis version. Results and discussion. The results were analyzed through morphological diversity analysis and molecular diversity analysis using ISSR primers. A rapid advancement in DNA-based marker techniques has proven to be powerful in genetic diversity estimation. Factor analysis was performed in order to reduce a large set of phenotypic traits to a meaningful smaller set of traits and to know which trait is contributing to maximum variability. On the basis of factor loadings of the 19 morphological traits that are contributing to maximum variability, was analyzed. The first three factors are contributing to 60.2% of the total variance observed. The first factor had high contributing factor loadings from stem end fruit shape, blossom end fruit shape, fruit skin texture and stripes on bottom end contributed to 27.2% of the total variation. The second factor had high contributing loadings from peduncle length, number of fruits per plant, skin hardness and number of primary branches contributed to 23.3% of the total variation. And the third factor had high contributing loadings from flower color, number of primary branches and fruit shape contributed to 19.7% of the total variation. The coverage of variation in the genotypes was further analyzed using principal component analysis. The first three principal components in the collection with 18 values more than 1 were able to explain 61.1% of the total variation for morphological traits. The variance accumulated by the last components of the base collection is in small amounts. Distribution of Cucumis genotypes revealed by first two PCA analysis based on the morphological data is being displayed in the figures, which shows that among the traits studied, peduncle length, number of fruits per plant, leaf size, fruit breadth, and the number of primary branches could be used as characters to distinguish the germplasm entries. Molecular diversity using ISSR primers yields a total of 125 alleles and of which 109 were polymorphic. The level of polymorphism was found to be 87.34%. The maximum number of amplicons was generated by the primer UBC825 and the minimum number of amplicons was generated by the primers UBC885 and UBC881. The variation observed in the ISSR profile for the markers and the specific bands were observed in the genotypes for the specific primers. They are in the primer profile of UBC812. Specific bands were observed for Orissa local, Rupamalli, Long Green, and AAUC2 at 700 and 1000 base pairs. Similarly, in UBC812, Edapadi local, Sangagiri local, Kanivellari and Long Melon at 600 and 800 base pairs were observed. Similarly, in UBC808 produced bands specific to Edapadi local, Kanivellari, Sangagiri local, Long Melon and Sembati local at 650 base pair level. Orissa local, Rupamalli, Perandurai local, Long Green, 
AAUC2 and N78 at 280 base pair level were observed. In UBC 834, specific bands were observed for Sangakiri, Long Melon, Sempati, Perandurai and Andaman local at 550 base pairs, 750 base pairs and 900 base pairs level. Among the 13 Cucumis genotypes, the highest similarity index was observed between Perandurai local and Sangakiri local and the lowest similarity index was observed between Orissa local and Karur local. The similarity values obtained for each pairwise comparison of the ISSR markers among the 13 Cucumis genotypes were used to construct dendrogram based on Jacquard's coefficient and the results are presented in the figure. The 13 Cucumis genotypes formed 6 clusters. Among the different clusters, the cluster size varied from 5 to 1. The cluster 3 was highly heterogeneous. The cluster 1 consisted of Karur local. The cluster 2 consisted of Andaman. The cluster 3 consisted of Kanivellari, Sangakiri local, Perindurai local, Long Melon and Sembati local. The cluster 4 consisted of Edapadi local. The cluster 5 consisted of N78 and the cluster 6 consisted of Orissa local, Rupamalli, Long Green and AAUC2. In the present study, the phenotypic variation did exist among the 13 Cucumis accessions with respect to 19 traits recorded. The clustering of the Cucumis genotypes based on the variations across morphological traits were classified under six clusters. The clusters 1, 3 and 6 were homogeneous, where cluster 2 and 4 were found to be heterogeneous. The cluster 1 consisted of Orissa local, the cluster 2 consisted of Sangakiri local and Karur local, cluster 3 consisted of Rupamalli, Cluster 4 consisted of Edapadi local, AAUV2, N78. Cluster 5 consisted of Kanivellari, Long Green, Andaman local, Perandurai local and Sembati local and Cluster 6 consisted of Long Melon. Similarly, ISSR marker distinguished the Cucumis genotypes into six clusters, namely cluster 1 consisted of Karur local, cluster 2 consisted of Andaman local, cluster 3 consisted of Kani Vellari, Sangakiri local, Perindurai local, Long Melon and Sembati local, cluster 4 consisted of Edapadi local, cluster 5 consisted of N78 and cluster 6 consisted of Orissa local, Rupamalli, Long Melon, Green, and AAUC2. Conclusion The ISSR markers produced a clear difference between the North Indian and the South Indian genotypes of Cucumis species while the morphological markers fail to differentiate due to adaptability to agroclimatic zones. Thus, molecular markers are more reliable for the identification of genetic diversity in Cucumis species. Thank you.